all right guys big thank you from double south so this tutorial we're going to design this nice looking piece of artwork where this for your screen here now so and we grab this particular tutorial from b i'm sorry from dribble uh now this guy nicolas a gamler i run um, so i could drop the link to this particular design for the description of this video now so that you physical observe on yourself and still observe other of the guy who work with like do so basically by the end of this tutorial now wait see we could do be this and see the results now if i refresh see i'm saying say animate enter then flash all these pictures and all the content now just come inside so something like this are now one tidy and we will use html scss and gsap for the animations so if you if you don't know scss i'm not sure the gsap crash course but i will try to make sure i carry along even if you're a beginner but at least you don't need to get some javascript experience so that the things you're blessed with the talk now and the do now you know because they look foreign for your eye they get but as for scss if you're not know scss now they already create story for scss um just small crash course but if you watch that video and um you see the things you're blessed i teach there it go feel make you understand the other things you're blessed so good for this place here so make sure to watch that video i'll drop the um link to that video for the description of this particular one too as well and um before we carry on i did use this css reset to like the word is all my tutorials to reset my browser styling then i had grab my font from google fonts and at this for now we use the fira sans extra condensed then the pictures all they use are the collector from pexels.com all these guys get very really fine, nice, sharp images. See how? So now yeah, they got the pictures of like someone use for this particular tutorial. And also the codes that they inside my GitHub repo. So I could drop the link to the code as well so that you obviously observe the code and take tidy yourself or do one or two you get. So anyhow, yeah, shall more jump enter the tutorial now, then more start to tidy this whole stuff. And um another thing is for this particular tutorial, yeah. Since this is in our video now, we we'll use IT to gauge most of all these things. So, which I don't do now, so I don't download the video, I'll be like, say, um, the play for this part for this um, design. I'll download them out so that I could use them, take the reference, the design. I could use them as reference for the design now so they tidy them matter they go. So, if you pause this video like this now, you see, I'm a pause and then I go use them to the tidy some of the animations now they tidy how the, how the styling and everything go the play out they get so not to focus your mind for this bike where the corner here will not the run up now only within the middle here now now one tidy so anyway, i'm more not to talk too much i'm just jump tight to your shop shop so i go minimize this particular video i live over somewhere yeah i go minimize this video then we will start with um we'll start with creating this solid background first then this text for the middle and after we finish and i will create the container where we go hold all the cards all these pictures now so we go hold all the pictures we'll be like the slide then after we finish that one we'll go tidy all this content we'll be like that we'll play and turn inside the scene they get so any anyway, actually i'm jump so um as you see now for the if you see my files i did get my css folder and my images folder and this javascript folder that contain this app.js so um my css file here i got it says the css and this main.scss so i don't declare some colors what we will use take tidy this tutorial and i did declare the font family as fira sans extra Condex sans serif all right so i'll leave this one here we'll take this one out then i don't get a small boilerplate here just a small markup like a snippet to show the starting of the html um, document and it is what we need so they call this font from the google font like i talk then with the call resets.css to reset the browser styles and 
what they call the compiled version of the main.css, which is this main.css. So most starts the markup process now. So the first thing I go do here now, yeah? I go first create a div. I'll call it content. So this content now go now go like um, wrap every single thing. I'll be like say with the animate here. So the whole of this box where you see now, so it'll be like mobile. It'll be like mobile screen now. So now be this content here what they get then inside this content now we we'll get two divs so good day on top of each other so the first div will be preloader because what is this thing as well when the animation starts if it starts with this orange background and this hilly uh text now for the middle like the title the logo right then you think of flash all these cards then so this is already flash now so i take them as the preloader then after i flash finish now it call animates the main content enter inside the scene so now the first um div will call will create and with the preloader div now so after the preloader div now create another div now call this div app but we're not going to mark up on yet so inside this preloader we'll create h1 then the h1 now uh, we'll get span inside and the span i will type haley then we'll create another div we'll call this div solid bg so this solid bg so now it will be that orange color where the animate enter inside the screen then we'll create images so inside these images now we'll get five images where like go flip before the app now go animate enter inside the view so the first image will be image slash zero one dot jpg and i'll duplicate four more times so one two three four five so this one will be two three four and five so basically now the markup what we need for our preloader that is so we'll check out what we don't get so far um i'll go live Okay, see how it's big. So the first picture, second picture, third picture, fourth picture, and fifth picture. So um more mark up this thing. Sorry, more style this thing and more we'll see how we we'll take make them look much more interesting. So the first one that's what we'll do here now. You see this background now, my dark background. So they will give the body a background color of dark zero zero right okay then i'll come down we'll target the content so this content i will set a max width of 414 pixel I think I grabbed this dimension from one of the iOS devices, one of the iPhone device. I don't know which of the iPhone shall be. One of them I grabbed this particular dimension for. So you can just get that mobile screen you get. Then we'll set the height to 844 pixel. Now position will be relative. Why our margin? Will be auto like zero degrees. So, so margin will be auto, and um, we'll set margin top to 120 pixel so that will be push that screener on the top of the body. And 
overflow will be hidden. All right, we'll see what it is so far. So now we'll get something like this, right? So next thing we need to do, we need to target the preloader. So I'll come down. I'll target the preloader, then I'll set um, the width and the height to inherit. So they inherit the height and the width of the appearance. Then we we'll set position to absolute. So we we'll set preloader position to absolute now, but the contents which is the period and are relative. So that means this item now, you know, go fit smart past the shadow, <laughs> you know, go jump come out from this content. Go they bound to this content here. You get so we we'll set display to flex. Um, justify content to center line items to center and overflow again to hidden. I may not likely use this overflow hidden shell, but we'll leave on there first. Okay, so now what would I get this one? The next thing we need to target now, we need to target the H1 where they inside the preloader, which is this H1. And also, you notice I put span for this place. If you look this, um, where the video again? I'll say if, if you look this tutorial, uh, sorry, if you look this video here, you see and say, after this animate enter, you see from where the logo says start to the clip, enter inside the scene. You see, yeah. so now something like that, eh? Now they try to do here. So this H1 now go to the middle of the screen, right? But this spanner, it go to push come aside from the H1. You get so this H1 now make I just my style now so that you see what I mean. Um, we we'll set position of this H1 now to. Uh, absolute then the color will be ash FFF, which is white. We'll transform the text to uppercase, then we'll set font size to 26 pixel, font weight to 600. And overflow will be hidden. Then inside, what are they do so? H1, I know what target answer. All right. <laughs> I thought they lose guard just now. So inside is H1, we target its spawn, then we set display to block. Then we'll target the solid BG. Then I'll do this explanation properly. So for the solid BG, which is this next item here, just after the H1, we'll say solid BG. Um, position will be absolute. And We'll set top to zero. Z index to two. And height inherit. Why the width as well go inherit? Then background color will be orange red from this variable here so if i go my browser now i guess let me kind of space elements um the h1 
Um, where are the commas now? Hmm. Oh, okay. We set position absolute and so z index is the cover ram. So this h one to come front. So we set z index for the h one. So mass stands to like three. Okay. So z index three. Preloader h one did the top. Solid bg did the back of h1 then image you see the one cell will never start the target images but we'll target and just now okay so the way we want to tidy this h1 animation and the reason why they put the span here now because i could target the span with um for example javascript file then we go animate the span here from down come up did it get so it could be like something like this so if i set like transform um translate y you see i said that was the effect already so i say i put like 50 here this has not the the view now but the animation now got translated from that 50 come up you see and when they would the vanish it now it seems like i have to translate and go to a negative value you get but if say maybe another target the span at the target the h1 direct switch for the apple you see and say you know go the hide at all you go the climb they come from down on this side you get so this h1 as well it marks the actual content where the inside here or the wrap with span so that's the idea of using this span here so hopefully you understand this thing which i bet probably by the time we don't enter the animation you can see the reason why we do some of these things so i think that's my decision let's say you can make now when you create some of these um animations you get so sorry sometimes you don't need to do them like this but based on how this particular animation be i feel this is the right way to animate them so in asha we'll continue so now we don't get okay zindex i never sit here back three so now we don't tidy we don't tidy this um hilly and this solid background so the next one we want to do now so yeah, we need to tidy the images which is all this cards where blessed they flip and the way it could be now we say oh go back the way it could be now if i go back to my index of this image here by default eh, all these images the very first one blessing will show now this image will be the last one with the call here you get so you know it's in the video the from top to bottom now so by the time it reaches now this one i going to cover every other one where they back but the way we want to make it be based on how the animation will be here eh, we want this first one now to show up you get we want this first one to show up so that you could slice they go back until everything eventually animates us but yeah i'm gonna jump into the css now we'll target and style the images so after the solid bg i go target images then um set position to absolute then Z index could be one height go inherit y width as well go inherit. So you see, I said we use width and height a lot. So then I want good reason where maybe you would like one extends this particular code or use mixing, but it depends on you, shall. So I just try to make this thing as easy as possible now for everybody to just understand 
witty are they actually do for this place now so we'll just set to with a nice to inherit for the images we'll target the actual image then we we'll to set position to absolute and height now will be 100 percent width to go still be 100 percent then objects fits could be cover why object position could be center so we'll go back we'll see you may see now because this particular preload on as well nine d the top here we get so the cover all these other items because we set z index for them now be so we'll just cancel them first by commenting out and go back and you can see what we'll I get here. Should this here? So if I inspect the elements again, see the number five image now. Now in the show for the up now. So see they cover every other images for this place now. So now what we want to do eh? we need to make sure see now this very first image now. So now go to show. So we show from top second that is the first second third fourth fifth not because we're not be animator like this make it the make the first one come out and the second one like that to bet but i'll say the way we want to do this gsap now so you get the called stagger when we use that stagger for the gsap the way the stagger they work like they animate the um the first item we'll like this for the list now so so you first need to animate this first one then this one then this one and this one so it's maybe say this very first image now so this zero one now so you first animate them out before this next one then this third one and this fourth one then for your the fifth one so if all those things they have on the back now this fifth one now so here, it they block the whole process so you're not going to actually see what they happen so then now why we need to make sure say this very first one now, should, now so this zero one now so now it go first show up then by the time it show up now this next one go follow on this third one go follow on so now so one just take tidy the other then the stagger go work properly uh you know you're not going you know you know gonna stand up properly now the same now, but by the time we reach the part of gsap animation now and i start to animate them you will see reason to why i take this approach now and why would it do like this so for us to do this particular stuff now to us to add them um, to make sure see this very first one that is shown now which is the first image now we need to add z index now to each of this child right we need to add z index to each of the child and for us to do that i'll go back to my um css code then just after this image here now if it targets each individual child and we we'll see image and child so this is maybe the end child or no if you put them inside I'm going to leave here image and child one so this and child one i'll figure out maybe a z index of um five you get then we'll target the second one and third one and the fourth one and the fifth one so one two three that is a one two okay three four and five so one two three four five right z index five this one will be four this one will be three this fourth one will be two why the fifth one will be one so we'll see all right this is the first item now that they show so first then the second then the third fourth and fifth like that so by the time we animate now this first one will slide out then the second one on which is fifth one right but the way we write this 
CSS now. So uh, in order to pure, that now why we need a CSS and you now where CSS is shine. So instead of also do this mailing to like so we'll do it. Um, if we use um, SCSS map mixed with SCSS for each um, function. So that's the uh, map and the for each function. I can make sure see we write lesser code but we achieve exactly the same thing we have on. So what I'm going to do here, I go first declare um, the map. So I call the map index order. And we'll set the first one as the first one will be one five. So do this map they work now, they work in like key value pair. You get so this one and the key, then this five now the value. And if you get sharp, I go suppose to understand witty at the try doing also. You get and four, two, then five, one. So the next one I go do now, I'll come down then I'll say for each of this key and the value inside not be inside what type of in but I just put an inside so I will raise it in like um uh it could it could be like English from my ear <laughs> you get so I'll say for each of this key value now in index order won't run this item web like today inside this block so now um image and child this one i will go replace and with this key so come here for us to call the key now we will first type this hash but we'll use this curly brace then inside we'll type dollar key you see dollar key then the next thing we need to do we'll target this index then we'll set them to value And I see. Okay, we'll not get any issues. And if we will check our main dot CSS now, it's supposed to be the compiled version of the code. Okay, you can see. So it's in the compile for us now. Five, four, three, two, one. So the first shy they collect the highest value of this index. The second shy they collect four. The third child they collect three, which is normal. The fourth they collect two, and the fifth now they collect the lowest one they get. So instead of this code now to read for maybe five, four, three, two, one, and like from the stack to start from the front now, the thing is start from the back now they get. So none of that here. Yeah. And if I go back to I cancel this. I just clear this ones. If I go back to the browser. We'll not tidy the preluder for now. So I'll just bring back this particular markup. You see, um, so Haley, once this one animate out, the images go show, the image go animate out, then we will start to see this our contents. But now we will end this particular video. So that for the next video, we will start to mark up and possibly style the whole of this app content then after that video we will start to do the animation so in asha you know the now you only support if you give me to subscribe to this youtube channel you get subscribe to the channel like the video tell other people see now here they happen if you want to learn more of the gsap css nice design i get a lot of them here and more will come so make sure to click on the subscribe button and like the video even though you know what click on before because they love they your hearts just click on so that you know you lost if you get me so any asha, I'll see you in the next video.